Hey everybody, my name is Alex and it feels good to be making a, another Space Mesh video. It's been a long time, but 1.4 is out for Space Mesh and I am converting everything I have to 1.4 because ultimately I want to run 1 to N and the best advice right now is that if you want to run 1 to N, meaning a bunch of just post services connected to a single node, then you should upgrade to 1.4. That way it does all the migrations. And then when you're moving from 1.4 and kind of combining all of your identities together, it's a lot cleaner. So this video is actually just going to cover the upgrade process and it's specific to my use case. So what I have is one to one where I have a single PC and that's I'm logged into it right now, alpha, a single server. And then I have another server that has all my post data. And alpha basically has all of my nodes. So if I do LS, I can see uh, for Bravo. So I have a, another server called Bravo and these are all the nodes on it. And then um, I'm not gonna show it, but I have a Charlie and I have a Delta and they all have their own set of nodes. And those nodes are all connected to alpha, which contains all of my nodes. So I'm running like 60 nodes on alpha. Soon I'm going to be able to change it to just two nodes really, because you need to run a, a node per phase that you're running, uh, because each set of Poet servers have to have their own node. It's kind of a pain, uh, not super thrilled with that design because I'm still gonna have to run technically three nodes, one node for the early Team24, one node for the standard Team24, and one node for the 12 hour uh, kind of official space mesh cycle gap so i'm gonna have to still run three nodes but that's way better than 60. Uh, but let me just jump into this video i do have on um let's see on hake dev we have this upgrade guide which covers basically mostly what you need to do uh, you'll see this is kind of the config i'm starting out with and I'm going to be updating a few things in it. So let's just jump into Termius. I'm gonna go CD node 02 because that's the one, and this is a public node. So keep that in mind when you're looking at my config is it's set up for direct connections. So I'm gonna do nano and I'm letting the node, it, the node's actually running right now. Um, once you update the config, you can restart it and it will then use the new config. So uh, let's get in here. Uh, first thing we can do is just delete all of this. If you're using MTLS, you no longer need to do it, and you can change this to just post listener. Uh, that way you don't have to uh, set up the certs anymore, which in my opinion is a win. I'm Everything is located on my uh, network here, so I don't need... If I was going to like host my node on like AWS or something, then yes, I would want that. Uh, apparently this has always been wrong, but it just never through an error, but this start smashing down here um, can just be deleted and it should go here. Um, so we're just gonna move that to there and then I can leave everything else basically the same. So I'm just gonna do control X, Y, enter. Uh, this thing should be good to go. Uh, let me just check. Oops. It's so weird, when I minimize Firefox, it just shows as black. So I'm gonna stop minimizing Firefox. I'm just gonna leave it up and switch screens here. Okay, so yep, uh, that looks good. And then next we're gonna go into our actual portainer here and um, go into alpha, bravo. And then this is where I have my actual stack files with what I need. We can see I've already upgraded one and I just, and I can actually delete this out of here. I no longer need the search directory. And when we go to the second one here, so we're upgrading node two, what we're gonna do is we no longer need um, this meshing ops. I'm actually gonna leave this for now. Um, because I think it's gonna pull some data out of there. I don't really know, but if you're running this already, you can just leave it. Uh, what I am gonna do is remove this 
We no longer need the certs. And let's see if there's anything else I need to do. Okay, so this isn't a Team 24 node. So really all I, all I have to do is just update this to 4.0. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Just, there's not a whole lot we need to do to update this, it looks like. Let's just give it a go. Um, all this is going to do is basically restart uh, node 2. And we'll see. I, I get errors a lot of times with this stuff. It's not a big deal. Uh, we'll just go in and fix whatever it is. Uh, okay, so appears to be good. It's low. It, so this is good. Migrated legacy identity file uh, to local.key. So this is going to be the step two, which is we need to change the name of local.key. So according to, I think it's Fast Matt in Discord, who I would say is an authority on this. In order to run a post as a service you need to change local.key to another name. It doesn't matter what it is for me because I use this Bravo and then 02 naming convention. I rename mine to like bravo02.key, bravo03.key, bravo uh, just so I know which post data it goes to. Um, so that's my recommendation is name it to like something and then you'll restart your node. So I'm gonna let the migration occur for this and let it do its thing. In the meantime, let's jump back to Termius and we'll go over for Team 24 what the changes are. So mm, let me try and find one. Nope. Uh, I Not all mine are, actually I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, nano node 18. Here we go. Okay, so this is what a config looks like the old way. And we're just going to completely de delete out those poet servers. And I just go to team24.co. Uh, let me just bring it up. And then set up. And you're going to choose 1.4. And you're going to choose whatever you are, standard or early. Uh, originally, there was an error with the... Um, Pub key. It was old, um, and I actually don't like how it highlights this whole thing. Like I can't highlight just what I need, so I actually post it in Notepad, and then I just copy what I need out of it. Um, so let's get back into Termius, and you're just going to replace it like where it was here. So I believe that it goes in main and you know what i also hate when this doesn't you know what i'm gonna do uh nano node 16. i like my stuff to be formatted correctly so i'm gonna like the spacing so i'm just gonna steal that and delete out Oops. Oh, whoops. Apparently that was a hotkey for something. Control K is to delete the entire row there. Okay, perfect. So that fits exactly how it should, except for Poet 2. I still am using the old value. I need to update that. Is that one. And then, okay, so everything else stays the same. Just like before in the other one, we can delete all the TLS stuff. There's no comma there anymore, so make sure to delete that trailing comma and then do post listener. Um, you can't use peer-to-peer -peer uh, disable legacy discovery. That's deprecated, so if you have that, you should delete it. Uh, this, remember, we're just gonna move. This was wrong before, but it didn't throw an error. I don't even know if it's needed. If it was wrong before, like, is it even needed? But uh, maybe by default it's false. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm going to throw it in there just to be good. And my config looks good. So control X, Y, and then enter to save that. And that was node 18. So let's just go in and see Oops. Um, if we can. So the migrations are going to take a minute here, but let's 
go back and let's also do node 18. Uh, 0. Uh, we can keep the ports. We can delete the certs. Everything else stays the same, basically. I always like these videos because I feel like people see when I make a mistake and they're like, no, you made a mistake, but I don't know I made a mistake. Uh, oh, turns out I didn't make a mistake. So we're doing the conversion now. You really want to make sure that you're seeing this migrated legacy identity file and do not forget to go in and rename that. It's very important. And when we do the one to N, we're going to be pulling out each of these identities and putting them in a single identities folder, which is why it's just good to get everything migrated. Um, so yeah, that is really it. Like, honestly, it's, it may seem confusing, I guess, but it's really not too bad. Let's just CD into node zero one and we'll CD into SM data, which is where I have all the data now. Uh, and you can see we now have a local.sql that has replaced technically the node state, but you can see the way how it's named the dot BAK. I'm pretty sure that's like some sort of nomenclature saying it's not needed anymore. And then we have identities. And by default, it makes this identities folder a root folder, which I don't like. So what I've been doing is re uh, or changing the ownership back to the current user. So you can do sudo. Um, so let's say you know you're in the folder where that folder is contained. You can do sudo change ownership. So ch own and then dash r capital R dollar sign user dollar sign user and then just do dot slash identities and then a little asterisk there um, or even uh, I think that'll change it including the identities folder but that'll just get everything back into um, non-root ownership which I don't think is needed but if we go into identities we can see there's just one key and this is your key.bin it's weird because now it's bravo01.key and before it was key.bin and this should be what's in like your post data and the, the key that you use to generate the post data uh, is now stored in here. So that's really it. Um, I'm not even going to probably bring you back to see like the migration complete because it's pretty straightforward from here. Um, it just takes a little while to migrate and then it starts up. That should be it. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video and there's gonna be a lot more Space Mesh videos coming out because I'm gonna be doing some migration videos as soon as I finally get everything migrated. I do plan to update some of my tools like Nodemon. I've been waiting for this update to update Nodemon uh, because I knew it would be a breaking change. But uh, yeah, so a lot more stuff coming. I will see you in the next one.